Zach, what, what's this opportunity like for you? Unbelievable experience. You know, I'm very thankful to Wes and Tommy uh, for the opportunity. You know, I think we talked a lot about players and their development uh, you know, in the off season. I think this is such an unbelievable opportunity for me to develop and grow, and I'm not going to take that for granted. What type of head coaching experience do you have? Ooh, very limited. Um, yeah, I did uh, one other time in summer league. I got an opportunity when I was in Utah. I was the uh, coach in Vegas. We had a summer league in Utah and in Vegas, so I got to take over in Vegas. So, a few games, four, four or five games under my belt. You have uh, quite a few guys on the team who filled in as head coach now this past season. Has JB, has uh, Pat told you anything about just kind of what it is to slip in there? I've, I've solicited a lot of advice from all those guys. Not only have they had G League head coaching experience and, you know, obviously NBA, you know, fill-in coaching experience, but they've also coached in Summer League. And I think, you know, there's some unique things about the Summer League that I can take and try to learn from and grow from. So I'm, I'm open to any advice from anyone. I was going to say, what makes a good Summer League coach? Like, what do you have to, obviously, the development factor and everything like that, but are there things that differentiate from popping in a game during the season? I think the, I'm not sure there's like unique qualities. I think the, you know, event dictates some of it because of the unique formatting of the of the summer and the limited time that you have. But I think the things that carry through, um, you know, communication being first and foremost, the two words that I'm going to use that I want to really grow in from the summer is communication and connection. I think communication across all parts of the organization, the ability to interface with both our front office, our coaching staff, our medical staff, and the players, you know, that's priceless. And then connection, making a connection with all those people. I think it's important that everyone understands that we're all in this together in the summer. And, you know, this is a chance for joyful growth for everyone. And then let's really connect and get to know everyone because they all play a vital role to the Wizards playing basketball. What did, the, well, what did you attempt to, not you personally, the Wizards attempt to accomplish at this mini camp? I thought this was an invaluable experience for everyone. You know, it's it was a wonderful mix of, you know, pros, guys who played overseas, guys who were multi-year in the G League, as well as getting Johnny his first taste of, uh, you know, five on five action since the NCAA tournament. So I think, you know, kind of tracking those two courses simultaneously, we were able to accomplish a lot. You know, they got to get game action. You got to compete about against some hungry professional men out there that have played you know, overseas and like Pierre, uh, Perrier Henry was just playing in the finals of the Turkish league, you know, and then he flies over and he plays in this. So the opportunity to compete against a player of his caliber, led the EuroLeague in assists, led the EuroLeague in steals, you know, getting matched up against him. That's an invaluable learning experience. Will Johnny Davis play some point guard in Vegas? Uh, too early to tell, you know, I think he's a, he's a guard, you know, he's going to play everything. We want to be a little positionless who brings the ball up the floor on a given possession, you know, that may change, but I think, you know, all the, the roster that we have in minicamp and the roster we'll have in summer league is very versatile. I don't want to pigeonhole anyone into that. Um, he'll bring the ball up sometimes, sometimes other guys will bring the ball up, um, but he's a guard. He's going to make plays for our team. What were your impressions of him in five on five? I think what's shown through is the competitive spirit. I think that was a through line for the entire camp. I think all the guys that we brought in, first of all, unbelievable people, unbelievable energy. And then I thought um, the competition level was a high. Um, but Johnny specifically, like he's got unbelievable hands and instincts defensively. I think that's shown through. Um, he really competed defensively. He uh, moved the ball and played with a purpose offensively, and I thought he was very decisive. I think that's a key for him. You know, he's gonna, everything's going to come through. Um, a lot of times, rookies, they don't know what they don't know in terms of defensive schemes and things like that. So it's a, le it's a learning experience for him, and to get this opportunity here was great, to even get a prelude to summer league practices for him to learn and grow. What were your impressions of Perrier Henry? I love him, man. I love him. He's a, he's a great competitor, a uh, good guy. Um, can defend, can really pass, um, just has a good way about him. He's supposed to be one heck of a competitor on defense. What did you see on that end of the floor? That it's very uncomfortable to bring the ball up against him. And your footwork and your uh, poise have to be pristine. What's the schedule for you guys leading up to that first game in summer league? Yeah, so we're going to get out there. Uh, some of us are getting out there on the 4th, and then we're going to have a practice on the 5th. Then we're going to practice five, six, have a kind of a scrimmage on the seventh. 
a little light practice on the eighth, and then we'll play on the ninth. So, some good, good work going into it. What kind of information do you get out of Johnny going up against a Chris Dunn, uh, uh, Henry, and things like that? And how did you think he responded to going up against some of those, you know, more established players? Yeah, I thought there was a great learning experience for him. One time we had him bring the ball up, uh, and he got pressured. Uh, he got pressured by Chris Dunn, and Chris Dunn forced him into a turnover, as Chris Dunn has forced many players into turnovers. And it was a great lesson in poise, patience, setups, and pick and roll, understanding how to use your body and how to create space against NBA caliber athletes. What have you thought about Chris Dunn throughout this camp? Uh, similar to uh, Perry, I love him. He, I, I got to coach him in this last game. Um, I really enjoyed uh, his competitive nature, um, his ability to guard one-on-one. -on -one. He's very disruptive using his length, competing over pick and rolls, contesting from behind, and then he still has a great ability to control the game through pick and roll and make plays for others. To what degree do you see some improvement in Isaiah Todd since the last time he played? Yeah, absolutely. I think this was great because, you know, with Isaiah, he had a good season in the G League. And then since this, I think since our season ended with the Wizards, he took a, two days off and was back in the gym. And he's been working every single day. And I think this is a great opportunity for him, a great springboard for him into next season. He had the individual work, and now let's take that and apply it to the collective. Because it's different, you know, you can sit there and work with the skill trainer all you want in the summer, and that's great, and that's very important. But how can I translate that into five on five play? And I think Isaiah did a good job, you know, finding his spots, being aggressive, and showcasing what he's capable of. Hey, coach. Uh Capital City Gogo had a great year. It's a couple of guys on the roster, and they had great success. Uh, how can they replicate that in summer league and just going forward for you? Yeah, no, great question. I think the first and foremost, it's a credit to Tommy, Amber, Mike Williams um, for what they did and the program that they've built. I think it's important for all of us. Like you said, we had Pat Spencer, Craig Sword, Jordan Goodwin, Jaime Echenique. We had all these guys in minicamp and they competed and played very well in this. I think they showed themselves, and that's what we want. This is a, this is a program that we want to carry through. We want guys that are pillars of this go-go -go and that you know, kind of vacillate between the go-go and the Wizards. So I think indoctrinating them into what we do and having them part of the fabric of who we are through the course of the summer and the year in the go-go -go is very important. So I think they will, they, I mean, they know all our plays, they know all our terminology. It's great, they're, they're great uh, being here. And then as a coach, what are some of those intangibles you look for out? You know, of course, want to make the shot, get the rebound. But what are some of those key things you focus on? Yeah, I think it's the little things that I look for. It's can you do something for someone else? You know, can you run the floor for a teammate knowing you're not going to get the ball? Do you fill the corner every time knowing that you're spacing for someone else? That kind of obvious unselfishness. Can you do that in an environment that's really giving you competing uh, incentives, you know, in summer league? Because it's an individual showcase, but can we do things as a collective?